Hello and welcome to the Legacy Crusaders YouTube channel. This is Benji and today I am joined by the greatest possible hero duelist of all time, the creator of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Playoff, which clearly was not copied from Simo. I am here with MBT. Say hello, MBT. Uh, hello. Um, that's a really big uh, standard to live up to. Well, the I don't greatest know. hero duelist of all time and the inventor of progression. I don't think either of those are correct. I don't know. I just say rambly stuff. I was going to say, people seem to think that I do this series bringing in the people who are the best and most well-equipped to teach a deck. And the truth is, I take whoever I can get, and I appreciate whoever's willing to help me. And uh, I know you know Hero very well. And I asked you, and we have new support coming out. I know you're testing it, and I highly appreciate your willingness to share your knowledge of how this deck works. Very happy to be here. Cool. So if anyone's new to the series, I bring someone on who knows how to play a deck. We play a few games on YGO Pro where whoever comes on tells me what to do, and I ask them questions that you, the audience, might have so that we can try and learn on the decision-making part of, of playing a particular deck. So today we're doing the new heroes cards. I think we're only playing remaining two of them, and then we have one in the side deck. I guess we'll get to it in a minute. I will also send everybody over to MBT's 10-minute testing video if you want to get more ideas of how this deck works, uh, where you'll be talking about the deck a little bit more quickly, very quick with the way you speak <laughs> in your videos in 10 minutes. And yeah, I'll do a quick card by card and then we'll play a few games and then we'll come back to the deck list and discuss anything that may or may not have come up. All right, so quick card yeah. by card, <laughs> one Stratos, three Vion, two Shadow Mist, two Malicious, one Denier, one Plasma, one a Dusted Gold, one Liquid Soldier, one Ferris, one Increase, one Draw Guy, Draw Hand, Draw Guy, three Prosperity, three Mass Change, three Fusion Destiny, one Hero Lives, one Rota, one Poly, one Dark Calling, three Ash, three Valor, three Droll, three Imperm, in the extra we're on, one Adder one Malicious Bane, one Acid, one Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, two Dark Law, one Dangerous, one Beatrice, one Access Code, one Dread Decimator, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Wonder Driver, two Cross Guy, and a Verte Anaconda. In the side which we built just for this episode, three D-Force, three Nib, three Twin Twister, one Solid Soldier, two Ferris, and three Cycle Reader. So I don't know anything about heroes. So before we get started, is there anything about your list that people might question? at all just because you know everybody has their opinion about what the best hero deck is yeah pretty much all of it oh, okay. <laughs> um this is certainly a questionable hero list and it's born out of synthesizing a whole bunch of ocg hero lists ocg top decks are functionally just throwing crap at the wall and seeing what sticks and um the stuff that has stuck so far is everything from destiny hero dread master main to triple d force plasma turbo it's really really hard to build this deck with no understanding of what the uh, burst of destiny meta is going to be certain cards get much better Better or worse based on what decks are prevalent. For example, if decks that lose to Droll and Lockbird are very good, it turns out that draw handing your opponent and then locking them under Droll manually is extremely powerful. If no decks are playing non-targeting, non-destructive removal, D-Force is a house and a half. And if decks stop losing to hand traps, we might take those last 12 cards out of the deck entirely and force in more extenders, additional copies of Ferris, things like Solid Soldier main deck, uh, maybe even some more Stratoses. But as of now, I think this is a pretty pretty decent starting point with enough flexibility that when Burst of Destiny rolls around, we'll be able to easily sub out those last 12 cards for whatever is clever in the metagame. We, I've built this to just be as generic as possible, as flexible as possible, and hopefully we'll get to show off those two qualities. Cool. Just so everyone's fully aware, this deck is not currently legal. You will be able to get it as of Burst of Destiny. Who knows what the ban list will look like at that point if Sword Soul will have taken over the meta. Uh, so things yeah. obviously will change, but this is just a good early look at how to play heroes. I guess one really, really quick caveat. Um, if Verte Anaconda eats a ban, which I think is not unlikely, uh, then Destroy Phoenix Enforcer is going to be way, way worse in this specific iteration of the deck. We will move away from normal summoning Vion and towards normal summoning Stratos. So uh, if that happens, pretty much everything in the extra that is not a hero is going to be shed like yesterday's garbage. And if it doesn't happen, I'll probably be jamming this. All right, so uh, let's get into a few games. We'll come back to the deck list and then see if there's anything that needs to be addressed. So I had Omes on for Virtual World recently. That was fun. Oh, jeez. Omes is quite good. <laughs> yeah, he said you insist on calling him by a funny name. Uh, do you know Mase? what you say? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hey, I thought that that was how you pronounced it. <laughs> I guess it's hard to really know unless they tell you. Um, I also have done a few videos with like Burrito Man, although that'd be hard mm -hmm. to purposely mispronounce. <laughs> Right. Uh, are we going first or second? Uh, we're going to go first. All right. Fantastic. Uh, okay. So this is pretty good. It's full combo. The 
short of this deck is that you want to commit as little as possible so that cards like Pot of Prosperity can potentially find you a fusion, fusion destiny if your first normal gets negated. So we're going to begin with Vion here. Just go ahead and normal summon that bad boy. If the zones matter, we'll go left is one, five is uh, right, so. Sounds good. But we're going to use the effect of Vion to send a copy of Shadow Mist to the graveyard here. There's no way to take advantage of the fact we drew one. Uh, there maybe is, but not without uh, locking us. We'll activate the effect of Shadow Mist, and it looks like they have a response, so be a little careful here. We're going to get a copy of Malicious here. Okay, next up we're going to... Oh, don't troll us. Oh, thank God. We're going to activate um, this Vion effect and go grab a Polymerization from deck. Everyone's favorite fusion card. Okay, uh, let's fire off that Pot of Prosperity for six and see what we find. All right, so now we get to find out the best six banished targets. Okay, so I like the second cross guy, the uh, Unicorn and the Access Code. Uh, the second Dark Law. And the Acid. And... That's five? Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, let's also do the Wonder Driver. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. I think we got a good uh, good hit here. We got some decent ones. Holy guacamole. Okay, I, what we were really hoping there was for a mask change, but I'll take any of these. Uh, let's go for the Ferris. Which is a one of in this list, right? Yes. So, yeah, and you can just do whatever you want here. We're going to try and end on Story Phoenix Enforcer plus Plasma, which should not be particularly difficult. Let's go Ferris, Pitch the Malicious. And Ferris does have a lock attached to it. Uh, for the rest of the turn, we can't special from the extra outside of Heroes. So let's go ahead and activate that, setting an increase. All right, so our Verte is no longer useful, but I think we banished it, right? Uh, we did not. Um, oh. uh, I like to keep Lockless Hero online. It's just increase here for as long as possible. But Vion is such a tantalizing hand trap target. It's unlikely that they're going to use something on something that's not Vion. Let's go for increase here, pitching the Ferris. And we'll trigger the Ferris. Uh, does not matter what we get here, um, because they are the same card twice. Oh, we just want more material. Uh, let's go for uh, Cross Crusader here. Does it matter who we use? Probably not, right? Uh, not really. Uh, let's bring back that copy of Malicious from Graveyard. Okay, we are going to activate Cross Crusader, cycling the Malicious in order to add a Denier to hand. All right, we're going to activate the Malicious in Graveyard. Is there any reason we might want to activate it beforehand to try and get it out of the deck, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, I guess you could, yeah. Uh, but there's no draws that occur. Uh, let's fire off that. Check the materials on Destroy Phoenix Enforcer real quick. Pretty sure it's like Pretty a level sure 6 hero destroy. and... Uh... D hero. We're going to fire off the Polymerization. Sending Denier and Malicious. Four. Zones might matter a little here. Uh, make sure it's in a zone that theoretically the piercing hero could point to. So probably middle zone is decent here. All right, now Denier's online. Let's go for that. So once per duel, he can just summon himself if you control a hero? Yeah. This is sick, by the way. He summons himself, and then he tucks a banished hero back on top of the deck. So we can go Denier in any zone, uh, then trigger his effect, uh, target the Banished Malicious to put it back on top of the deck, the Banished one, <laughs> and uh, then what do you know, we have another material if we so desire. So just thinking real quick, unfortunately we are one material short of also having Dread Decimator up, but that's no big deal. Let's go for the Malicious in Graveyard here. And then we can send the Denier, the Malicious, and the Vion to the Graveyard for a Plasma. Should I put it where Dread Designator would go if we summon it next turn? It doesn't really matter. Any of these zones could point to both of them. All right. Uh, do you have a preference on, like, which side of the field to use? Does it matter ever? 
doesn't really matter. Um, I do have a preference on Infip. You got to set that sucker in the center. No one checks on Edo Pro. <laughs> oh, I 100% agree and uh, highly recommend everybody setting that in the center. Pretty, pretty good setup. Uh, so destroy Phoenix Enforcer can destroy one card on each side of the field uh, once per turn, including itself. Uh, if it's destroyed, you can summon a D hero from your graveyard next turn. Oh, this is a sick one. Yeah, um, <laughs> Dolce Patetting Cessor is fine. Plasma is killer against Madolce, uh, unless they draw some of their going second staples, which it looks like they have. Son of a gun. Um, well, are they might we... just have it, but I guess we'll, we'll know soon. I, I am pretty sure that they have screwed this up. Oh, no, they haven't. Uh, so I would probably infip here. It's not ideal, but uh, we do need to keep them off of a four. And this is a good enough way to do it that it's possible the monsters in Graveyard are going to screw up the rest of their plays. They have an Anjali. Oh, that's like the worst possible normal summon for us because now they can go for a Hoot Cake. Can't ever clear the Graveyard, but they can get pretty darn close. Ah, that is, that is so rough. So unfortunately, uh, you're seeing that Hero still loses to the same stuff that Hero used to lose to. Uh, which is, of course, going second staples. Has a really rough time versus Forbidden Droplet, uh, versus Lightning Storm, versus Dark Ruler no more. Uh, the good news is that now it has a bit of recoverability in Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, which can bring back a hero during your next turn. But it's Madolce, so we might just be getting this DP shuffled back into the extra deck here. Oh, yeah. Not wasting any time, we'll just go directly to Tierra Masu. All right, do we have some sort of game plan for like when they sp well, i guess we'll have to see what they spin because i imagine dp is getting spun but uh yeah things get pretty bad from turns two onward well we had what looked Strange. like a pretty sick hand wait what was that it's very odd they they left the dp on field are we going for a second tier Masu over the course of this turn um tickets getting them gelato so they get to search something Lotto else. from Chateau, maybe? They're going for Salon here. I mean, if they were concerned about destroying it, spinning it should have been fine. Mm -hmm. They're not playing into the Imperm column. Damn. Good <laughs> to find the one person on Edo Pro that's red infinite impermanence. I don't know so if you know this, but, mode. but any card you play in Imperm column, you can move. Uh, left or it's right. True. It's remote dual tech only. Yeah. They're not even putting their set cards in the Imperm column. Boo. <laughs> they're really trying to show us that they know what they're doing. What? No way. They're not playing Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. I mean, I play Okay, it, well. I'm surprised that they would play that. Uh, but... This is a very beatable board if we're not dead. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Are you familiar with Underworld Goddess's effect to negate something that would summon something? Oh, I am not. Uh, so we are going to trigger increase here uh, because we took damage. This is something that's actually pretty difficult to remember in paper. Don't put it in the Imperm column, but uh, everything else is fine. If we we'll did, would DP. it go to the graveyard? Uh, I don't know, but I'm, I don't want to find out. I agree. All oh, right. can you hover closed world? Yeah. I feel like they missed their opportunity. That effect activates on send. Oh, which effect? So hold A here, and then in standby, we'll uh, resolve the effect of Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Well, their effect is a once per turn. Negate a once per turn when your opponent activates a card or effect. Oh, yeah, they would have had to do it last turn. Okay. Right, it activates at that point. So while Denier is funny, well, it's probably Denier, isn't it? No, it's got to be Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Let me, uh, yeah, that's so good. There he is. Okay, so um, A Hero Lives is a crazy draw, just an unbelievable one. Uh, we can't activate it unless we control no face-up monsters. So we can DPE here. Uh, what is Closed World? Does it have any other effects? Yes, very relevant. It is unaffected by cards that do not target it. But well, I think... son of a gun. <laughs> DP does uh, does target. So we can pop it. It does a target? It does... Oh, I'm terrible. Oh, it does wait, not. Destroy one card, both are... Okay, it doesn't target. So we could just, like, punch it. We could punch it. We could go and for Promenades the... Promenades He might negate us. Oh, Promenades on field. He can definitely add a card back to hand. Okay, I like just going to battle phase.
All right, so we could promenade to negate us, which will stop the attack point reduction, and then we'll just take 500. Which is what's happening here. We can chain here. But we can't pop uh, Underworld Goddess, and we'd, That's still, true. we'd still be weaker. We can, we can pop Ticket, like. We can. Uh, should we? We'll take damage if we don't do anything anyway, so if we just destroy our monster, we won't take damage. The, the important part here is forcing out the interaction so we can activate a hero lives in main phase two. All right, so Phoenix Enforcer just pops two cards. Do they have something to do to this? What? So let's go for a, a ticket and itself. And now he has another opportunity to negate Phoenix Enforcer. So we actually really hope that he does here. Uh, what are we trying to protect for later in the turn? We'll find out. Uh, let's go for the uh, hero lives here. Uh, so sick targets for this include exactly these two. Uh, Stratos is the pick here because we haven't committed to a normal. Uh, we'll activate the effect of Stratos. So a couple of options. Unfortunately, that Underworld Goddess is going to prevent us from getting a sick of dusted gold off, but still might be the play. Uh, we could get Plasma, but I think that Plasma doesn't work the way we want with Underworld Goddess. Well, it should be negated. I think it's not negated, but we can still take it. Regardless, I, I think the pick is probably Plasma here, trying to determine if there's a way to get it out. I think we're one summon off. So currently we can summon, we can use Increase, that's a body, and then we could uh, search something increase off of Shadow Mist. because we have the Vion. Yeah, that'll be enough. Let's go for the Plasma here. Great. Let's uh, normal summon the uh, the Shadow Mist. Uh, two options here. We can keep searching with... Uh, no, we banish the second copy with uh, Pot. So let's go for the increase here, popping the Shadow Mist. Do we need to normal summon it for this? We could have just... Uh... What do you mean? The Shadow Mist. We could have uh, did it from hand. Doesn't uh, increase also do cards from nah, hand? Nah, increase is sealed only. I am just mistaken. All right. So we're going to want to chain block the increase here because it absolutely has to resolve. So we'll go increase chain link one, shadow mist chain link two. Okay, I see. I'm just misremembering. Heroes are one of my nightmare decks for what I play. It would be very funny to add a dusted gold, I think, but I don't think it does anything on this board. Well, but Let's get a dusted gold anyway. It's just hilarious. Well, it gets us a body. And then we can, if we really want to, we can tribute our body. And Vion here. Uh, we'll use Vion to send Draw Hand. Uh, just more dudes on field. And boom, there we go. Seeing the plasma come down, they uh, they decide they've had enough. That's kind of sick. Yeah. Oh, oh, and we win by and they uh, are, rage quit. And they are all the way gone. Okay, actually, uh, the win condition for this deck is for your opponent to get bored or their internet to go out. Uh, it's not it's not really good in paper, but promise on DB, it's it's undefeatable. Well, it could happen on remote duels, I suppose. <laughs> all right, let's get into another match. All right, I'm only f fairly familiar with Masked Hero Dark Law, as he ruins my life all the time. He is a, he is a big jerk. So like, but this is kind of what Hero is. It has a very explosive uh, going first play, um, and if that fails, uh, now destroy Phoenix Enforcer means you can functionally do similar stuff the next turn. This hand sucks. This is like one of the worst possible hands. So because we're on a 1-1 Garnet ratio with Ferris and Increase, I refuse to play a second Increase. No one in the OCG is. We are going to be locked out of our Ferris line specifically. Accepting that, we pretty much have everything we could ever ask for here. Uh, we're going to go pretty low, which means if our opponent has a powerful going second staple, we are going to curse their name and, you know, um, scrawl it onto a piece of parchment or the death note. But <laughs> I, I do like our chances versus someone with an 11 card extra deck. So let's start with the hero lives. I was just about to mention their tiny extra deck. <laughs> we'll go for the uh, Stratos here. Oh, God, we could have maybe even gone for Shadow Mist. No, we couldn't have. We need Vion in rotation. So uh, what's important here is that uh, Fusion Destiny, a lot of people are like, oh, you have to use it as a starter. You absolutely do not. It's fantastic to use in situations like this where your starter gets <laughs> negated. Uh, so we can do a couple of things here. We can Fusion Destiny. We can Normal the Increase. But I think I like Fusion Destiny just a little bit better. 
So usually what you want to do here is send a uh, malicious and a denier to the grave, but we can't because we already have a malicious in hand. So instead of going for destroy Phoenix Enforcer, we're going to go for dangerous, sending a copy of denier and a copy of shadow mist. I'll trigger the effect of Shadow Mist. We we really the name of the game with this deck is you got to be resolving Vion every turn. So we're gonna use Shadow Mist to uh, get a copy of Vion. We're gonna normal that bad boy. For a second, I thought we normaled Stratos. Totally forgot about a hero list. I know the deck is so unfair. <laughs> we'll uh, you play so bad the hero deck. We'll see Achilles. We'll see. Uh, what can we send to Graveyard? Not a ton that we really need in rotation anymore. I don't even like draw hand here because, no, we've already used Fusion Destiny. We're squarely off the uh, Verte and Aconda line. Let's go ahead and send draw hand. So from here, we can do a couple of things. I like linking off the, first let's Vion. We'll activate that effect to get a polymerization. Not forget that one. Uh, uh, banishing the uh, Shadow Mist here. Uh, so we can make DPE super early if we go now with Dangerous. I don't really like it. Instead, let's go uh, Vion and Stratos into Cross Guy. Uh, we're going to trigger the effect of Cross Guy. We'll grab ourselves the Denier. We will not activate Denier's effect here. That's pretty important. We'll activate the effect of Cross Guy. Distributing the Denier. And then, well, son of a gun, I just don't know what I want to get. We, we have so many options. Uh, can't do the Ferris because we have the increase in hand already. It would just be an extra body on board. It's just too much. Well, the Ferris could pitch the Mali. Uh, I have another plan in mind for pitching the Mali. I imagine dangerous. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab... We don't have an extra D-Hero, do we? Um... Don't. Yeah. Mm, may have screwed this one up just a little bit. Can you hover Liquid Lad? I, hmm. Up to you, Buckaroo. Whatever you think is going to be best for follow-up is what we're looking for here. This guy does uh, follow-up Liquid Soldier stuff. is very funny. Yeah, he's very good when we already have a Stratos in rotation. Okay, so we can go Polymerization here, fusing the Dangerous and the... Uh, what's his name? Mally. The Mally uh, for a DPE. We can summon a Mali. We can activate Denier here. And son of a gun, would you look at that? Uh, we've got a Mali in our banish zone. So we can put that bad boy on top of the deck. I was hoping there was an interesting way to maybe try and like banish the the increase so we could shuffle it back and then do violence uh ferris things Ooh, that'd be silly uh but denier unfortunately only shuffles back d heroes oh so uh unfortunately this is not very sexy but i think we're just tributing the entire board for plasma uh i kind of got it into my head that we needed to play around as much as possible and as a result we're going to have one material stranded in the grave that's the uh malicious with a malicious on top unfortunately i think we probably have to mally for the mally now so we don't draw it <laughs> Maybe we should have Whoop. done that first so we could have left Cross Guy or something on the field. Yeah, but doing it first is impossible because Mali's semi-limited. The Mali was on field and we had no way to get it off. Uh, we could have gone into a Dread Decimator, but then we would have been one material off as well. Gotcha. I think the correct way to do this was to uh, not send the draw guy over the course of the turn, so we could have had one extra material in rotation. But say la vie, ended on the same turn uh, through a piece of interaction. I think this one's okay. Again, just worried about those uh, really powerful going second uh, cards. So we can draw a guy here if we want. It summons itself and then optionally send, uh, draws both of us a card. At minimum, we could just summon it to have more guys. Is that even worth doing? Or should we wait till we yeah, have a so. duel or something? Yeah. All right. It can't do it every standby phase, just the standby phase after it was sent to the graveyard. Right. It's going to ask you if you want to give him a draw. I'm going to say no. There and it's already pretty stacked. If we drew a droll, then it would be crazy. <laughs> oh god, they're playing this deck. Wow, this is fantastic for us. Okay, so uh, Illusion of Chaos is going to search Magician's Souls here. 
Yeah, I've not played against this yet. I know it's bouncing back to hand effect is good. So the only relevant part of this card is that its first effect searches Magician Souls from the deck. And so a lot of people whose decks live or die based on that principle, things like Metal Foes, are splashing this and some other garbage as well. What? What the? Wait, what the? What the well, I mean, he's playing 11 card extra deck. He's playing a bad Dark Magician deck. Okay, all right. Uh, if we lose to this, I will be very upset. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes you just uh, you open the brick and then we can use that as an excuse for when it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, increase, I do want to stress, isn't that much of a brick. It just means you're cut off of the fairest line of extension, which matters if your opponent has probably two hand traps. I mean, even through one, with the card in hand we don't want to draw, we were able to make, like, DP plus Sky in a bad scenario. Okay, so I, I, I think that probably we are going to want to prevent this guy from resolving, unless he uses it to summon. Let me just confirm what it said. To send this card, then you can... My god, he's summoning the Dark Magician. That's fine. Please summon the Dark Magician. Yeah, it's kind of what I expected him to do, just because he's on, like, a bad Dark Magician deck. My god. Like, he might want a level right, 7 so monster. I mean, now you are seeing... If he's on Chaos Form, card. you know how Chaos Form can banish from Grave for material? Yeah. He might be just trying to summon the Ritual, so popping this might not accomplish anything. We probably won't do that. But uh, now you're seeing the very funny part of Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. It's also protection for your plasma. It decreases the attack of all of your opponent's monsters so that they can't go to the battle phase and prevent you from negating their effects. Yeah, definitely. Just attacking over, it's always been my out for dealing with plasma. And one of the fun things about the little extra guys that we ended up on our side of the field with, it's much better to send them and decrease their attack further than to send Phoenix Enforcer itself. Kind of forces your opponent to remove it. What the hell is this card? It's the Eye of Tamias. Um, Special summon this card from your hand. You can fusion summon this monster. For... Okay, sure. This seems like a pretty decent Tamaya, or, uh, target for Destroy Phoenix Enforcer, since we know the remainder of the hand. Well, it's also currently uh, we negated. We won't do it because it's currently negated, but uh, if something happens to our plasma, that's uh, number one. Yeah, I bet they didn't think our board would have a negate everything. Oh, nice main phase, dude. Well, I guess we're going to battle. And if they wipe our Mali and our draw guy, no big deal. We have a uh, Liquid Soldier as follow up. I also imagine we were better off saving a uh, Enforcer for like a potential like Eternal Soul or Trap Card. Oh, uh, he has Apprentice Illusion. But oh right. But this is not a spellcaster. I'm I'm okay with this. Ah, they must have misread a card. But we know the entire contents of the hand, right? It's the Ritual and the Apprentice Illusion, or does the Ritual shuffle itself back? I didn't catch that, but I don't remember it leaving the hand, so that should be the hand. Jesus, wrong attack. You're telling me. Uh, if they want to burn their... I mean, we could just deal with his monster, and then he'll have Apprentice in hand. At best he can do is, what, summon it? Yeah, I think that that's fine. Let's go ahead and fire the uh, DPE. Uh, let's keep the draw guy on our side of the field, sending the Mally here. I don't know what the plan was from our opponent to load in with a Dark Magician deck, call us bad, and then lose. Let's see the Chaos Former bust. I mean, I don't think I don't think it could be if it's Chaos Form at a ritual. It can't be Apprentice, and we know that it's Apprentice. A lot of really great players in EU competitive on uh, Edo Pro. <laughs> oh, I, you're letting us down, EU! Come on. Well, I did also forget to write competitive please in my game notes because you know. Look, I lose from misclick. No, you didn't, buddy. You lost from a lot more than that. <laughs> I lose from misclick. Oh, well, I, I think he did lose from the misclick. The misclick was accepting this game. Yeah. Um, oh, wait, wait, it's it's a best of three. Let's go. I mean, I, I might want to try and get a different match, but we could just yeah, yeah, troll yeah. him by putting in some... By, we, we could uh, just you know start what? the yeah. game and quit. Well, let's um let's be a little bit of a jerk. So we can take out the uh, effect veilers. Uh, no, no, no. We can take out the drolls for sure. Um... I, I kind of like putting in the D-forces. Is there like a funny thing that'll beat him? We can take out the Veilers and uh, put in the Twin Twisters. I imagine they're on Eternal Soul. I don't know what Dark Magician does, but it's got to still need that, right? And uh, I kind of like even taking out like the Ashes for uh, Ferris Ferris Solid. All right. This could be fun. So this is a version of the deck that you would play if you just don't respect your opponent at all. They told us to go. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This is a hand. <laughs> Holy guacamole. And so the reason we kept the infips in is because I am a little scared of Magician's Soul and Magician's Rod. But, uh, you know, I'm not that scared. Is there anything new that they would get off of Rod that we wouldn't expect? 
Buddy, I have not expected a single play that my the opponent has made this turn. Let's see the Dark Magician Circle whiff because they thought Eye of Tamias counted. That would be pretty funny. I was thinking they might grab like the quick play fusion spell just to do some sort of a fusion play. Soul Servant. This is kind of the battle of the really bad decks that cost $2,000 inexplicably. Ah, shoot. Maybe yeah. we should have kept all those hand traps in. My hubris. Well, I mean, we need to give him a chance, right? Hey, of course. It's we actually a very interesting line to go circle instead of circle to add the card that you put from your hand back on top of the deck, but I guess you can get it with Soul Servant too. This is kind of an interesting setup. It's just in service of such a boring deck. We will prove him that we are playing a bad hero deck. That's what we'll do by taking out all those hand traps. <laughs> what uh, the heck? All right, do? so... <laughs> I didn't pay attention. Tamias. Instead of adding souls, we added Tamias, the Dragon of Destiny. I'm interested to see what fusion we're going for. I mean, it could be Dragoon. <laughs> could it actually? That's pretty good. I mean, because if this card is literally just like a one-card Dragoon, okay, here we go. then that could be a problem. It is a dragon. Uh, he is Dark Magician. Okay. Awesome. He... Great. That is not really dragon. cool. <laughs> but it could have been. DM Dragonite Pass. Let's go. We lose this one. I am retiring. <laughs> I mean, Eternal Soul with Circle could be decent. He's also got Dark Magician in a grave, so he can stack and draw whatever card he wants. This is two, right? Uh, what the hell was that he put on top? I've never seen this card. It's got to be a new one. It is a new one. You can set an Eternal Soul directly from your deck. Hmm. Okay. Into Verte. All right, I guess we're just making Dragoon. Pretty upsetting. No, we are not. Holy guacamole. You've got to be kidding me. Well, Dragoon is a spellcaster. Oh, right. I thought we were making uh, the Duel Link special here. Do we have a Dark Magician in Grave for that Eternal Soul? What a sick fucking rip. If we can oh stop my Dragoon God. from negating us and uh, the monster he's going to summon is actually this guy. Oh, I see. It's Dark Magician in the Graveyard. Oh, thank God you've read these cards. Okay, um, so that's a no. Uh, we don't want to fire it off now. But we'll fire it off in response to the activation of the Eternal Soul. So all we have to get is the Dragoon Negate. Let's lead with, uh, with D-Force. Lost a plasma, so I could see him like negating this because he's like, "Oh my god, it's it's gonna get the plasma." Damn. Okay, <laughs> that would have been sick. Yeah, we'll take the plasma. Well, the ultimate goal is we need dragoon to negate before he summons the uh, dragon knight, right? Go for disparity next, I suppose. Six. Uh, let's go six. Yeah. Across driver, unicorn access. The second Dark Law, the Acid. Please negate it. Oh, dude, it's so tantalizing. This could be anything. It could even be Pot of Prosperity. Damn. Okay, fine. Ooh, Ferris is gnarly. It's really two Pot of Prosperities in here. Ferris is funny. A Dusted Gold is funny. I think I like Ferris a little bit more. Okay, so this is going to get a little crusty right here. We have to normal the Stratos, and unfortunately, I think it has to resolve. All right, so normal Stratos. Is there a particular card we need? I guess Mally to search the pitch for Ferris so we can summon Plasma. Mally is, is the play. Because as long as he negates this and tries to Eternal Soul this turn, we should be what fine. What the hell? All right, Mally's the pick here, because even if he negates the Ferris, we can uh, go for the Mally line. Right. Uh, we'll go Ferris pitching Mally, I suppose. Shocked at how well this has worked so far. Well, I don't think you have to negate what our cards this. do. You have to negate this, buddy. There's no way you would let this resolve. There we go. Thank you. Oh, it was Red Eyes Fusion in hand. Awesome. That's why they sent Magicalized. Okay, uh, great. So shields are down. Uh, let's uh, let's pop off. We will go for the uh, malicious. Uh, some of the malicious. Uh, we can go for Cross Guy here. So we could have gone for Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. That's probably bad. Now they will will fire Cross Guy. Bring back the Mally. So a couple of options here. Unfortunately, uh, we have already committed to our normal, which decreases the amount of crap we can do by a lot. 
we can use cross guy to grab a dusted gold and go for a Mally Bane setup. Probably not great because that guy's already at 4k. Uh, we can... We're always using cross guy for sure. Uh, we can go ahead and grab a denier and try to polymerize our way out of this. Uh, that, I don't think, is a terrible move. Uh, and the other option is we Shadow Mist into Adoration, which is kind of crappy. So let's go for the Denier here. Okay, so this will get us more bodies to summon Plasma and threaten Dragoon. Uh, I don't actually even think we're doing the Plasma line this turn. Can you hover the graveyard? Ours? Sure. No, uh, our opponents. Also sure. Or, sorry, our... um. God, that guy is an asshole. <laughs> and can you check our extra deck real quick? Certainly. Great. So we're locked into heroes. Uh, we can go... Can you hover dangerous? Does it need a monster with a level? It doesn't. So we could go poly the denier and the cross guy into dangerous. Uh, we could denier to bring back a malicious. That makes plasma pass. Is that good enough? Well, plasma gets the dragoon, which... Tri uh... Forces him forces to try and get eternal, eternal soul. soul. It's so, got to be good enough. Yeah, let's go for that line. So, Polly into Dangerous with Cross Guy and Denier. All right. Unfortunately, it looks like this mass change is going to be Twin Twister fodder. Well, whatever. Something had to be. Let's uh, go for the Denier here. And then we'll trigger its effect on field. We're going to shuffle back this Malicious that's in the Banished. It's going right. to ask you to do the one in Grave, too. Just uh, don't do that shit. <laughs> yeah. Definitely made that mistake um, before. Let's try it out, buckaroo. Mally, here we go. So we actually do get to show off the power of D-Force this game. I'm shocked. Uh, D-Force is so good if you can establish a Plasma on field, which we are about to do, baby. All right, so just summon Plasma and then try and take this guy. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, grab that bad boy. All right, now let me just read this field spell again because I'm not too familiar. I just want to make sure that we don't. He doesn't just get another eternal soul. Okay, so okay. you're definitely twin twisting here. The question is, do we uh, hit the field spell or the uh, the? You hover, hover the field spell one more time. Hey, I think we're just blowing up the eternal soul in the uh, dark magical circle. And then we'll take the Dragoon, and Eternal Soul will trigger. And can you hover D-Force real quick? Check this out. He can make a second attack during the battle phase. He is dead now. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know this card was decent. I know it says you oh, can't draw. this card's draw. actually really good. That first effect is a total misnomer. D uh, the hero deck does not give a shit about its draw. It just gives a shit about its hard ones per turns and its normal summon. Uh, prevents your Plasma from being targeted by card effects destroyed by card effects and allows it to attack twice it's pretty sick well i mean considering we managed to get such a big monster that also worked out really nicely also they only had six thousand attack i am so sorry to our opponent well, <laughs> that was a painful one for sure they got everything they wanted yeah they asked for that competitive please <laughs> this could mean anything it could mean decks that aren't out yet uh which mm -hmm. has been like a problem in previous videos where I just hadn't read I know Sword shit Soul. about Jang J or whatever. I yeah, I played Flunder with uh, Adagnister, and we just made you know a rival, and then they couldn't out that, and the game was just us unable to play around like fifteen cards activating per turn. We didn't know what they did. Flunder um, is one million percent the buy. Oh, okay. Right. Looks like we're gonna hey, win Shamba. all the dice rolls. See, this deck is so good when you win the dice rolls. Wow, this is killer. Oh my gosh, this is... I mean, this is just an old world hero hand. You know, this is what you would draw in 2019. All right, let's fire off the Ferris, pitching the Malicious. Uh, we're going to grab an increase here. So, uh, Mass Change is doing double duty here, uh, both as a way to end on a Dark Law, but also as called by the Grave. Uh, <laughs> if we go for increase and they infinite impermanence it, for instance, uh, we could just change out of there and resolve that effect. Cool. Uh, we're going to go ahead and increase pitching the Ferris. I want to do as much as possible before committing to my normal summon. Now, we are locked at this point. Uh, we'll summon a Vion from the deck with increases effect. Uh, 
I will fire off that Vion. Uh, who? How are you feeling? I mean, I, I I could go for whatever here. I think I like Shadow Mist still. Even though we have one and don't have really a normal, I guess we're gonna get a normal. Oh, off fine. Of let's wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Could get the normal now. <laughs> we could, we could go. Sh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's so go. Dump Shadow Mist. Shadow get Mist. Stratos. Yeah. All right. Uh, Stratos. Ooh, I saw hesitation there. Do they actually have something to do? They might Stratos have just been me now. hesitating. I don't think they actually had something. Let's go a uh, Vion effect here. And if they negate the Stratos, I mean, that's just them misapplying what, like, the play is. Ferris is the banish here, I think, probably. Uh, okay. It used to be you'd keep Ferris in Graveyard in order to facilitate uh, silly-ass lines that included uh, first turn a Dusted Gold. I don't think that's that much of a problem anymore. Well, let's keep going. I mean, if they stop us, they stop us. Let's uh, link summon a copy of uh, Cross Crusader. Oh, we'll fire that bad boy off. Bring back the uh, malicious. Any, anything else that you want to get? I'm really just shocked at this point that we've gotten this far. Well, it seems like we're just going to be able to go go nuts. I assume we yeah, have let's to get do something. Cross then. Uh, what else? Yeah, makes sense uh, we'll grab hand? denier here. Okay, we can fire off the Mali. Uh, we can poly the Mali and the Denier into Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. I think people are just going to be teching this in regular decks, I think I heard, right? Yeah, this is the other thing. If the ban is Dragoon and not uh, Verte, DP will be the next best target because Fusion Destiny's lock only applies until the rest of the turn. So um, if you end your turn with a uh, Fusion Destiny, that's just the way it is. This card's still crazy. Non-targeting destruction brings itself back infinitely. Really want to end on everything. I want. I want to be super greedy. Okay, let's let's go for denier here. All right. So the banished one. Just so everyone's aware, on YGO Pro, graveyard banished. All right. Sick. We can bring back the other Mali. Wow. Oh, I mean is unthinkable so we can do a couple of silly things here uh normaling the stratos is fun if we have one more extender like if we want to waste our adusted gold we can go plasma decimator dark law uh dp but i think that's probably bad like we probably want to have follow-up instead all right so let's just normal stratos oh we'll activate the effect rather than an extender let's get like follow-up for next turn um something like a liquid soldier because we already have it in rotation uh, but again it, you know for the viewers at home if we wanted to we could go a dusted gold here summon out a uh mali bane and then we'd have enough material to make plasma and decimator as is uh, i think we're just uh summoning plasma setting a mask change and passing turn uh, which guy do we want to keep i would assume cross guy yeah let's keep cross guy uh mask change doesn't I don't think it cares about levels, um, so we will uh, be able to even tag him into Dark Law if something crusty occurs. All right, so set mass change pass? Yeah. No problem. All right, ending turn. And uh, this is just up to the, you know, viewer. Sometimes people like to mask change at their earliest convenience, so your opponent can activate things that need to be sent to the graveyard. I like to wait uh, because you sometimes get them on, like, something like a silly draw spell that you can snag their starter off of. Or you can respond to a removal spell on something like the Plasma with the Mask Change and uh, get a little bit of value out of it there. All right. Good to take advantage of the fact that this is quick play. I guess with talents out there and we're not using it on a Shadow Mist, it's not that big a deal to wait. Like, at least if Shadow Mist was searching something like... Uh, I mean, we're not playing it. Oh. Son of a bitch. Well, hmm. I hope they don't eat our whole fucking board here. Ooh, can they summon the, the guy that takes three darks? That'd be broken. I think DP is probably the send. Oh no! Oh god! Huh. So he's gonna gain 1600 wow. attack. Yeah, that's fine. Alistair the Invoker. Oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, uh, we we probably are going for the uh, the mass change here. All right. Um. 
What's his defense? I wasn't paying attention. Alistair's? Dark Or Dark Laws. Is it worth putting oh, him in Oh, we're putting him in. We're going to put him in defense, yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, is there a way that he, sir, that he gets attacked? I don't know. I'm just trying to see if it's worth taking damage, if we can avoid it. Sometimes everything this. gets gonna, over him anyway. We're going to 25% get that Alistair. I mean, he'll just have the invocation anyway, right? Isn't that Schrodinger's oh, yeah. card, I guess? They both have it and don't have it at the same time. Ah. Okay, well, at least we know for next game that we're also up against dolls. Ah, so this is going to be a really tough matchup. Our board is pretty uniquely bad to super polymerization. The version of the deck it looks like our opponent is playing is all in on these, like, going second staples rather than hand traps. I don't know. It's going to be a rough one. I mean, I'd say we can just try and go second, but they might just, like, win the... Uh, I think that still might be the play. Um, you have to open pretty particularly for Winda, I feel. You can board into, like, any board that makes Winda is going to have to go through Schism, and we can at least board into, like, Wind Twister. This might be Cope. This 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 is a miserable matchup for us. I, I don't want to try and give the people at home, uh, you know, faith, I guess I would say. Well, we could what? have waited a little longer and Dark Lord on the, uh, the Alistair normal summon. Uh, I don't think that accomplishes anything because there's already an Alistair in Grave. So even if they're cut off from using Alistair, like, on field, uh, or cycling an Alistair um, into a light monster, uh, we still have to deal with the one in Grave. Um, the only benefit would be uh, the invocation isn't repeatable, uh, and we have a slightly higher chance of banishing it off of the Dark Law, and that maybe is a good enough reason to avoid it. What? All right, one negate. Can we do it? Oh, right on time, Buckaroo! Right on time. Yeah, best six card. I don't like this one. Oh, by summoning Dark Law in defense mode, we cut off our own ability to increase here. That's unfortunate. Oh, that is something to consider. I would have not thought of. All right. Well, let's um, try the Liquid Soldier. Well, I mean, it's this or we scoop anyway, right? Yeah. Stratos here, I'd imagine. And then he has Alistair, so he has the negate. We can't play the two cards we have, and that is effectively game. Let's go to game two. Oh, we're dead. Wait, hold up. Oh, pff, too late. Was there something else we could do? Did we have Denier to play again? Uh, hover, hover, Liquid Soldier. Is um, it for when So if banished? this card is banished, material for the fusion summon of a hero monster, we can draw two cards, then discard a card. You know, it would have been. It would have. It would have been great. If only we read the first part in a remote duel and ignored the second part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why you need the foreign copies. Oh, this is going to be a rough one for sure. So Schism doesn't target, so uh, D-Force is going to be pretty uniquely bad against them. I like Twin Twister a lot. I like additional extenders, so I would consider bringing in the Pharises. There are scenarios in which Droll is... No, Droll is pretty universal. Droll is amazingly good, good in this matchup. Deck. If I had to pick one matchup for a Droll, this is the one. If we're blinding second, what are we cutting here? It'd be the Prosperities and some number of the Hand Traps. We could just cut the Ferrises and ride this to a, a sick loss. That works for me. Let's, Let's go. Let's try it out. I'm down to blind second. I, I feel like we are just not going to be able to contend with Super Poly. This is a sick hand. This hand is pretty good, provided they lead with Normal Summon Alistair. Well, that oh, effectively is Normal Summon that. Alistair. With extra steps. Yikes. I guess the punish is if they have the invocation in hand, of course. I would you even consider holding the infip for the on-field Macaba? Mm. I don't, to you. I, I think we try to stop it now. Sure. All right, buddy. Are you a good uh, invoked player? Well, he didn't have it last time. Or I guess we don't really know that. I mean, we didn't lose to, like, a quick play, like, El Shadal Fusion, which would have been, like, you know, the worst possible outcome. Oh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Unfortunately, we've got three cards in our hand that all compete for the normal summon, but if the Vion resolves, we'll be fine. Ecclesia? What do you think? Uh... Oh, come on. Come on, baby. No way. I guess this is just defensive. Did you set the card just to give us hope? Oh, thank God. Oh, wow. That's an immaculate rip. How did you get so good at Yu-Gi-Oh? No idea. All right. All right, let's go for the Vion here. Okay. Vion, let's go. 
again, we're going to be flexing this called by as a, uh, or this uh, mask change as a called by here. That is probably what this card would be. You know what's also funny is if he imperms and we chain mass change, we could do it in the imperm column, and then because it won't negate the card, it won't negate the column, and then <laughs> we can just keep playing that. cards there. That's always funny. Oh, that'd be funny. All right, uh, we're going to send, unfortunately, probably Shadow Mist here. Uh, every time we do that, it bugs me. But I guess, you know, whatever makes the most sense. I know. It's unfortunate because I really do want to go down to one Shadow Mist, but it's just such a painfully hard Garnet. Okay, sick. Uh, let's activate that effect and grab a... Ooh, wow, how about a Ferris? Okay, a lot we can do from this position. Or are they going to droll us? Shit. Hmm. Ooh, wow, we really did not want that to happen. We should be able to do a decent amount under droll, right? Yeah, we can. We might still be able to OTK, provided that set card doesn't actually do anything. I mean, what's the most likely set in that deck? Could be like a or... dead L, could be a punishment, could be a schism. I feel like a lot of the sets are just dead bluffs. And the best one it could be is Imperm, which we can always mass change to avoid. All right, Droll's fine. I mean, not like we can do anything about it anyway. Uh, let's go for the Ferris here. I like pitching the Shadow Mist, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, the, the roughest part of the Droll is that now we don't get to uh, search our uh, polymerization, which is critical to a lot of our OTK potential. We're going to activate Ferris, uh, set a copy of Increase. Uh, let's not put it in the potentially impermanence column, Just even though case. that'd be funny. We don't need to know what it does. We don't need to learn what happens when a continuous trap card that's not really a continuous trap card gets negated. Okay, so let's increase here, pitching the Vion. If it's Cosmic, that would be bad. Yeah. I did keep Cosmic in against this deck, but, you know, theoretically it could be very bad. Well, they so may want to hit, like, Mass Change or Vion. Force Mass Change out. Let's so see. we got to do some calculations here. We have we a don't thousand... have to win on this turn. I think we can though. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Twenty-seven, twenty-five, twenty-four is how much? And keep in mind we do zero for the first attack. Well, provided our Vion doesn't crash with it. Uh. Of course, this Vion accomplishes nothing. You want to hit me with those attack numbers again? I can add. This no, I think we can do it. Uh, right. At minimum, we're going to have some additional uh, percentages from the DP stuff. So let's go Fusion Destiny. Uh, we're going to go for DP. We're going to send a Malicious and Denier. Oh, and this is where the card is at its best. Uh, let's put it not in the EMZ. Okay, so uh, a couple of options here. Uh, we can go Malicious, DPE, Target, Malicious, and the back row. I think those two into... That might be too greedy. Uh, if we summon Malicious from the graveyard, and that set card isn't anything, we win the game here. Trying to figure out if there's a way we can do it through the set card actually being something. I can't think of anything that it is, really, other than maybe Punishment. And Let's go for Mally. I think we still can. This mass change is doing a lot of work for us. And Cross Guy represents extra damage, hilariously. We have the Denier, too. Yeah, let's go for a Destroy Phoenix targeting that set card. If we get a root here, I'm going to cry. I mean, that's the combo line I've been waiting to show this entire video. All lines lead to Nibiru token. I love that meme. It's great. It is. It's great because it's true. <laughs> it actually still make Dark Law through Nibiru token, but I don't think that's going to accomplish very much. Valor... DPE. That is a very interesting play. Why would they do that? If we um, change out of the DPE, let me do some math. Yeah, I think that would make it less likely to end the game, but is he really we trying to protect that DPE, back we row? This. We go 19 to 16. Be 16. Uh, we still have lethal even if we change out, I believe. So change. <laughs> All right. Wow, it actually worked. Okay, let's go for Dark Law. Should we put in the EMZ or no? No. Okay, just verifying. All right. Uh, the zones were a little fucked here, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to destroy the set card and our Mally. Oh, shit. Oh! Wow! Thank God! <laughs> wow, they really know how to hold the oh, Super Poly. Oh, wow. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, so now we're going we're gonna to link off the... Um, the Vion and the uh, increase into a uh, cross guy. So we're going to summon that here. We're going to activate cross guy. 
going to bring back Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Oh, broken. <laughs> I don't know why you're allowed to do this. Uh, put him in not the far zone. Oh, oh shit. My bad. Uh, okay, now we might not have lethal. Well, I think we're fine if he has one card, but uh, that definitely... Uh... Okay, he scooped nope. anyway. So what, what was the rest of the line, just so we can kind of like... So the line was, from here we can go Denier into a Dread Decimator play. And uh, Decimator pointing to Destroy Phoenix Enforcer and Ferris is enough for lethal, even if our Dark Law does zero damage into the Secure Gardener. Okay. Oh, that was horrifying. All right, let's go to game three, baby. Okay, right. so what do you think? Are they going to force us to go first? I feel like they are. As they probably should, since we made that choice. And like no the matter what, we're losing the draw. Drill. Keep them in? Uh, I like the Twisters for sure. Okay. I think we probably want some extension. I like um, the Ferrises. The Solid Soldier is kind of uniquely positioned here because it gets a body on board without us losing to Winda immediately. I mean, we're still probably losing to Winda. I'm trying to decide if the D the D forces are so bad in this matchup because of Schism. Hell. I think it's also just bad because they can just summon any monster in Super Poly because everything's dark. So I think we're, we're screwed by that anyway. Okay, I like do like Solid Soldier regardless. I would probably board out of one of our hand traps that is not named Droll and Lockbird. I think Valor's the least useful. And finally, do you think we're bringing in the uh, the Prosperities? I don't think there's anything we really want to see outside of Twin Twister, but if we think it's that high impact, we can still board out of like another hand trap for it. I don't think that's necessary. Okay, I'm with you. This looks good enough. Ah, this is such a uniquely bad matchup. I'm glad we at least took a, a game off. They're going first. Wow, oh, and this is a very interesting hand. It's got a couple of Garnets, the Polymerization and the Dark Calling, but they're very soft. All right, we know that they're not a good invoked player, right? Do we really do this again? Because this is one of those times where if Winda comes down, we have the negate, but there's no really way yeah, to let's, like let's force wait Winda. On, let's wait on Winda. Yeah. But there's no way to force the Winda onto the board before we play a card Commit also. To something. Okay, so, let's let's infip. Let's infip. Yeah, I feel like we're Clearly. gonna lose. So this is actually a pretty decent position against Winda. Uh, if our one special is our Fusion Destiny DPE, we can use uh, it to just go to the battle phase and walk over it. It also depends how it puts it on the board. Yeah. Uh, we could just uh, normal Stratos and get uh, a Dusted Gold, right? Uh, we, we won't have the material in Grave. Oh, shit. All right, it's four hand traps. Oh, right on time, Buckaroo. Well, hey, we can actually make something happen with that. So now we can draw hand lock our opponent. Son of a bitch. Oh, I can't believe we drew the Dark Calling and the Polymerization. That's rough. Well, all roads start with Elemental Hero Stratos, which I guarantee is going to fiend out a hand trap. Just hope it's Ash Blossom. All right, which hand trap will it be? Please, Ash. Please, Ash me. Yes! Oh, my God! Oh, we're so... Oh, shit! Wait, we can't beat that! <laughs> Fuck! I don't think we need to. He just doesn't have anything to no. work with, especially if we're going to draw hand and just, like, lock his play his next turn. I don't even know if we're going to draw hand now. I kind of like keeping him under two. If he has to add, he has to add. Well, so we can fusion destiny here and try and artificially extend our plays by going into dangerous. But I think the play is actually just fusion destinying for DP, making a bunch of link guys and ending on that board. All right. So fusion destiny. Mm. Well, or is it? So the, the line, mm, it's just a little bit crusty. It's just very slightly crusty, yeah. Because we're always going for Destroy Phoenix Enforcer because we have no other way to get it into rotation because we've drawn the polymerization. But sending the plasma here, or the uh, the malicious here, sucks ass because we're under well, Lancia. It's just there for next turn. Could send Mally plus Draw Guy. Mally. In order to put him under Droll. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Good DP. Uh, so, a couple of interesting things we can do. We can DPE here, destroying the uh, Secure Gardener if we like. Um, we can link off into Cross Crusader, bring back the DPE so it doesn't die due to Fusion Destiny's effect, but that's fine regardless. Um, got some options. Is How about the... we just go to combat? <laughs> let's, just, let's just see what happens. Okay, like what, what can go wrong here? <laughs> The, there is something we haven't considered that maybe he's on like a Shadal engine and Shadal fusions a card. Then we can always like DP to pop the Shadal fusion. DP pop the Shadal fusion to blanket. That's so cute. I think around that means that we should just stop here. Like we shouldn't do anything else. I kind of feel like we shouldn't when they only have two cards. We don't currently lose to to Super Poly. 
Yeah, let's uh, let's end on this. Unfortunately, we are going to put ourselves dead to Super Poly with the uh, draw hand in the standby, but uh, I think I'm okay with that. So we can draw hand here. We can put him on a fourth card. Then we can draw. Okay. Now, oh, did we give him up. the Super Poly? <laughs> it's a stick pickup, however. I mean, it's got to nice. be exactly Super Poly. Even should all fusion doesn't do it. That one pass? Absolutely. Then step wheel a destroy Phoenix and force it. That set card probably, even if it is a should all, you know. Not that big of a deal. If they set spell or traps, that's obviously the priority. Well, we have the out for those anyway. Fleur de Lis, I have no problem with that card. Summon Fleur de Lis all you want. Damn, you telling me that Fleur de Lis doesn't even even get over the DP without proccing its effect? Crazy. Set oh, thank you for setting one before you went to battle. That's so kind of you. Well maybe so well, I, I, why would they do that? That is odd. It's strange, isn't it? It could be waking. That would be funny. I mean, that's the only like card that in the game that ex that exists that makes sense to set early. Why would you do it anyway? Uh, I think I guess... they might just be bad. I'm willing to call their bluff on awaking in this deck. All right. So should we? Let's DP. We can hit the uh, the back row. I think. Should uh, we popping pop... itself. Because we don't have to pop itself. He could just attack us and get over it. Yeah, well, uh, regardless, it's going to die at the end of the turn because of Fusion Destiny. So. In that case, I guess uh, we'll we'll do that. Feather Duster. It's feather Duster. Sure, let's fire the effect. It is nice we didn't have to it use this like effect. It's like fun bait, but unfortunately phase. we did draw Twin Twister. <laughs> let's but... see if it's like something crazy that he was just sitting on. Nope. Oh, that's a killer draw. All right, let's uh, bring back the Phoenix Enforcer. And now we are not under Lancia, so let's just uh, let's go for the Mali first and foremost. I don't know why I put that in defense. Uh, let me think. I think we can just kill him here. If we go the draw hand and the uh, Stratos into... Oh, no, we we need a, a D-Hero in rotation. So the uh, Mali and the Stratos. Do we need the draw into... guy for something? We do, yes got to be a, a destiny hero monster we'll trigger that effect and bring back the mally <clears throat> activate cross guy pitching the draw hand here and we will go ahead and grab ourselves a denier uh we will poly the mally and the denier into that dumb asshole i don't know what that card is called dangerous I put it in the center zone. <clears throat> I will activate denier. Tickle a zone. Uh, any, any zone's fine. This guy's not sticking around. We are going to use its effect to put friend back on top of the deck. Uh, we're going to... What's in the grave that's trying to activate? Oh, the Mali. Let's go into uh, Dread Decimator. Uh, using the Cross Crusader and the Denier and pointing to uh, our fusion monsters. Okay, so I believe this is lethal, but I would have to check. It's normal the Solid Soldier, too, I guess, uh, in the zone that it points to. And then try and get to battle phase. Okay. Okay, cool. So um, Dread Decimator into the set card. He's the only one who does piercing, or do all the heroes do piercing? Uh, just him. Should we perhaps go for Fleur de Lis first before prompting potentially a flip effect? Yeah, sure. Let's go, um... Ah, damn. See, the problem is we can get him even lower if we fire the, uh... Dangerous. But I think that's just cope. Yeah, let's go into the Fleur de Lis first. The uh, DPE, sure. Okay. Because then we can even use uh, Enforcer, destroy it. What is this guy asking? Gives a shitload of attack to our monsters, but I think that's fine. I'm not very familiar with Dangerous. I know it searches a card. Oh, you just... Oh, you you cheesy little breezy. Oh, you want us to not even proc the flip effect by using DP to target itself in the set card? Yeah. yeah that's better. Let's do that. Well, I mean, the, the graveyard effect could be better. I'm going to feel bad if it's, what, Falco? Oh, perfect. I mean, we avoided him getting a Shadal Fusion, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. 
You're gonna get a Shadal to hand. That doesn't do anything, right? It does less than getting Shadal fusion. I love that you can still activate Dangerous in any part of the damage step. 200 for each destiny in grave. Okay. And unless he's got a Battle Fader, I think we walked with this terrible, terrible matchup. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. I didn't think that this was going to go our way, but uh, but it ended up working out. Ooh. Yeah, he, he opened, like, oddly very few playables. He bad games two and three, yeah. Uh... And that Super Poly, like, threw, I think. Uh. Definitely should have used that at some more useful point. It's like right. trying to hold it until we went all the way in. Yeah, well, I mean, with Destroy Phoenix Enforcer not targeting and being on the board for so long, he definitely threw, I think. MBT, is there anything that didn't come up that is absolutely worth mentioning? I don't know if there's anything that's like absolutely worth mentioning. Um, I know some people are going to be like shaking their head uh, at the uh, existence of cards that aren't heroes in the extra deck. Uh, the line that we never got to show off is a Vion line uh, that uses the polymerization to make uh, Destiny Hero dangerous, overlay that and a Malicious for a Beatrice, Beatrice to send Denier and make Verte Anaconda into Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Uh, the name of the game with uh, this deck is to spend as few cards as possible getting to decent boards. So that if your opponent interrupts something like your Vion uh, Normal Summon or your Strato Search or your Malicious Summon from deck, uh, you can just blow them out with something like a Fusion Destiny. And that's something that we got to a whole bunch of times over the course of these games. I'm glad that itself happened. I really love this deck. Uh, don't be surprised if post Burst of Destiny it takes a different form. There are a lot of different permutations of Hero, but uh, as is, you know, I'm happy with uh, the ratios we're playing. I was glad to see it perform in the games, and uh, thank you for having me on. Oh, it was a pleasure. Uh, all right, guys, uh, we'll see you all next time. Make sure you check out the 10-minute testing on Heroes, as well as you also had, like, a weird one-take testing on, like, the... Oh, yes. Trap card so that, like, skips a main They phase. have a trap card that helps skip your turn. Uh, don't play that. Please don't play that. I know I'm going to lose to people playing that on Edo Pro. Please don't play it. It would still be funny. All right, everyone. We will see you next time.